What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome back to the channel. It's Dev. We're here. True Detective Season 5. Or Season 1, Episode 5. Last on, we had the whole fucking, uh, uh, you know, shit with the, the Nazi dudes and, yeah. A lot of people died, but, yeah, it's been a while. I've, it's been a couple... About good amount of time since the last uh, True Detective reaction. I'm sorry. I be, it's been just the whole YouTube channel. I've been lacking, but we're back. We're back. I'm glad to be back. Uh, get a good refresher real quick, and uh, yeah, let's get into True Detective season one, episode five, and three, two, Wayne. Oh, my daughter saw her. You blew up my life. That's right. Okay. Yep. I remember now. I'm remembering. Everything's coming back. I can see your soul at the edges of your eyes. It's corrosive, like acid. You got a demon, little man. I don't like your face. It makes me want to do things to it. Ginger, you call me again. I'm setting miles on you. I would not let a man talk to me like that. I'm like, uh, who are you? We're on empty roads now, so I gotta drop back or he'll spot the tail. That's Reggie Ledoux's cook partner, DeWall. Bird dog and Marty. Got it. What's your location? You're south of I 10 along the Creo Nature Trail, heading toward Carlos. Hurry up, man. Copy that. On the way. Why are you so hot to see the new discovery file, man? Why are y'all so hot to not give it to me? Supposed to be like a consultation, right? Yeah, but uh, you go first. You take me through it, and I'll let you see what we got. Oh, how'd you do that? You ever been hunting, Marty? Uh, yeah. Ten point buck, year before last, 50 yards. I'm not talking about sitting in a tree house, waiting to ambush a buck, come to sniff your gas bait. I'm talking about tracking. Jesus, you're a prick. Look, we find a place, we come back. It's a hard as hell pink Floyd shirt, not gonna lie. Yeah. I want it. I need it. I need, I'm gonna... Cosplay. <laughs> oh, as soon as we started to back off, man. Bam! Bullets cut through right near Rush's head. We dove opposite ways into the high growth, but they'd already spotted us, and they had some high velocity. Boom! Blow apart this tree between us. I mean, it was on. <laughs> Bursting all around us, bark flying off the trees. I mean, we were in a fucking shit storm. State police! Put your hands on your head! Put them on your head now! Don't even think about it! Put your hands on your head right now. Intertwine your fingers. Do it! Back up toward me. Time, isn't it? The black stars. Shut the fuck up. Chaos. Freeze, motherfucker. Put it down. Hands up. Stay police. You in my dream. You want to come closer now? With me. He sees you. You'll do this again. 
again. Time is a flat circle. I said, need you shut the fuck up. Put it down. All right. Twin. There you go. Black star. Put your hands on your head. I was hunkered down behind this old decrepit boat. Captain America, Marty Hart, decides he's gonna run deep into the woods, flank around the back of the house where Ledoux's firing at us, right? Well, he sneaks up behind Dude, and just as Ledoux turns, bam, popped one off in him. Headshot, clean, dropped him. And his buddy, d he made a run for it. Oh. What do we do, Russ? Oh, fuck him. You see, you commit something. <laughs> After we confirm the two deaths and search the rest of the premises. Next time. Thanks for not doubting. Never did. So tense, man. Everybody wants some cathartic narrative for it. the guilty, especially. And that everybody's guilty. Not when everybody's guilty. What does that mean? You know the good years when you're in them? Or you just wait for them until you get ass cancer? So when do you think things started to, uh, how you put it, change again with the technical? Early on, 2002. So, I hear you made cheerleader. Yeah, there were like 10 other girls who didn't get it. Hmm. I didn't know they had any for you. Look at the flowers. Holy shit, look at the flowers. <laughs> oh, Lizzie from The Walking Dead. I did not realize that. Tell us what you know about this girl. Yeah, uh, Lori. Yeah, she became chief of something. Lafayette General, I believe. You uh, know what happened there between them? What always happens between men and women. Reality. Reality, huh? Reality. Dad. Tell it to your mother. Is that Kate Mara? Or, or what? Who, whoever the actress is that plays yeah, Starlight? Found her parked in a car with two boys. Come here. Get over here. Yeah, in states of undress, you know, like fucking. Boys are 19 and 20. Got them in holding for the night, haven't decided whether to press stash rape charges. What? You can't do that. I can do anything I goddamn want to those boys. <coughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Huh? This is one of those things that I'll never understand. You know, being... The captain of the varsity slut team. Marty. Oh my god. Fuck you. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That is not what, that's not how you react. See everything outside our dimension. That's eternity. Eternity looking down on us. Now to us, this is fear, but to them, 
It's a circle. I know who you are. And I know about that woman y'all found out in the woods way back. The antlers. Mm -hmm. Y'all never caught the man that did that. He's been out there. Killing. You talking out your ass, boy. You don't know a fucking thing. He's trying to buy some time, ain't you? I met him once. There's big people who know about him. Big people. Uh, ain't no deal, because there ain't no people. You... I'll tell you about the Yellow King. The Yellow King? Ever wonder why that task force was so hard to take the case? Like a 95. <laughs> You telling me you think the task force was in on it? How the fuck does this happen? You know what he was looking at with the double murders? Fuck this bullshit. You, you tell, tell me right, right now why you're all over coal, or I walk. Tell us what you've really been up to. How you spend your time? I already told you how I spend my time. Except you've been bullshitting us all afternoon. Excuse us for one minute, please. With the same circles, got the same hobbies. Maybe they. You a juicer. Ever black out? Ever wake up, don't remember what happened? What do you say? Life is a disease? When he heard the Abbeville prisoner, Francis knew something. He got on it. He shut it down. You ever thought if he made that phone call to the prisoner? Like, I don't know. The guy was trying to blackmail him? Yeah, he got on that too, didn't he? Blank killer up to when you two had your altercation. Whatever that was about. What the fuck? Oh, what an episode. What an immersive episode. I was immersed. Like, that was crazy. That was that. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. A lot of shit just happened. A lot of shit just happened. A lot of things that I think about. A lot of, a lot of questions. A lot of, like, hints, Easter eggs. You know? Like... The, the, the fucking episode, though, dude. What a fucking episode. A lot of things. A lot of things. I mean, the two investigator guys who are talking to Marty and Cole, obviously, they have some deep agenda. They, they're trying to blame it on Cole, I feel like, and they think it's all because of him, but I just feel like, I feel like Rust, it's deeply personal for him, like, to find out who these killers are and... Maybe it has something to do with his family. Because he's been kind of quiet about that. And I don't know if he's entirely truthful to a certain extent when it comes to his past. And I don't know. Like, the guy stated there's big bad people within this these killings and this shit that's going on. And I, could, I have a feeling like Rust had to go off the grid. Because he was figuring it out, and the heads of whoever's running this, whether it be local politicians or whoever that's involved, like, Rust had to do it on his own. He had to do his own investigating, and obviously they didn't like that. And Marty kind of knows, obviously, I would assume, so he's kind of... Him and, like, they literally lied about the shootout, about what happened, which, I mean, it was a good lie. They got out of it, and I don't think anybody figured it out, but shit's kind of sketch, man. Shit's kind of fucking sketch, but I'm, I am intrigued. I was immer immersed into that.
It's so good, so well directed. The writing's great. The acting is phenomenal. Matthew McConaughey's the goat. Woody Harrelson's the goat. Um, but there's a lot of time. Late '90s, early 2000s, and now in the 2010s, like what is going on? What is what is the big thing? Because obviously, these killings, these murderings, who who's doing it? Who's the head of it? And I feel like it's a very. I think it's a city statewide thing that's ran by probably it's probably the the a QAnon conspiracy type shit but within this little town in Louisiana maybe trafficking and satanic shit like hey i think it's this is being told better than how QAnon tells their shit there's not a lot of plot holes <laughs> i mean there's plot holes now because we don't know everything and everything's got to be answered at some point, but, like, I just, I enjoy this, I really do, and, you know, in the future, and in, in the present day, Cole's got this, like, he looks beat up, he's this drunk, crazy dude who might be involved with it all, he was, he was spotted at this fucking play, at this crime scene multiple times, like, obviously they're on to him, but I think he's just, he's been privately and on his own investigating this shit and that probably means going deep into deep into this shit like with his private or with his uh inside good people that he knows and whatever but shit's good shit's good uh Aubrey I think uh Marty's daughter she's Going through her phase. I think it was Aubrey. She's going through her phase, her goth phase, whatever. Uh, yeah. Can't believe Marty hit her, though. That was pretty rough. That was a rough watch. But I have a feeling something's bad. Something bad is going to happen to his family, Marty's family. Because he mentioned, like, his inability, inavailability, and him not being around. Like, did something happen to both his wife and his kids? Maybe his kids. With what we know what's been going on with kids getting taken and trafficked and shit, whatever. Like, does up, does it go deep into that? Does that happen? Like, shit seems sketch. Like, I feel like there's a lot of elite people within this area that are involved in this shit. And Russ is just trying to figure it out and they're trying to stop him from figuring it out. I don't know. Ugh! This shit's too good, dude. This shit's so good. I like it. We have the two detectives that are trying to blame Rust are in on it. Maybe they are involved in Rust mentioning getting shit from the higher ups. Like, there's a deep, like, it goes deep, I feel like. And maybe there's some real truth to it in real life. P things like that where, I mean, obviously the police aren't meant to, like, realistically, yes, sure, there's, the police are serve and protect everybody, but the police in real life are here to serve and protect capital and the rich. That's just true. And they will do whatever the rich say so they can get their pay and have their lives be fine. So, like, in, in a situation like this, the rich will be like, hey, you want to downplay this? You want to blame this guy? We'll pay you all this, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. Shit's sketch, though. Skits, though. Shit's good. Shit's good. I'm excited to see what happens. A lot of shit's gonna happen. Obviously, what what drove Marty and Rust away from each other? I think Rust did it uh, purposely so he could get out and figure shit out. And then I think in the present day, in 2012 or whatever it is, that they're going to... He's gonna show him... Show Marty, like, what he's found and what's, what's actually going on. Or he wants to get involved and get put into a meet, a meeting or whatever with the higher up so he can call him out. Who knows? I don't know. But I'm excited to see what happens next. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for daily videos every single day. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and Instagram, and Kick. And all the social medias down in the description below. And we'll catch you for another video. Go!